um, I'm just going to do a short review of all the electric scooter pack gear here. So I actually bought this from the internet <coughs> for one and a half years now. So um, just let me, you know, go through the detail of the scooter. Um, first of all, you got a um, gas pedal in here. So when when you're riding on it, you actually push the gas here, and also got two switches. You know, one is for the on off, and the second one is the mode here. So you 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 know you when you when you press it, you can see different data from it. <clears throat> and um, secondly, you got a brake here. So this brake is actually linked to the rear wheel. So um, it's a drum brake. So it's not a disc brake. And also, it's a real rear, you know, braking. So uh, the braking power is not excellent. Um, so you, when you're riding on it, you have to be aware of it. And you got this. Um, you got this adjustable you know height for the for the what do you call it handle bar and you got a suspension in here so so um there is one drawback for this you know can be a drawback but can be a you know advantage a good thing because um this is actually a rubber tire it's not it's not air fueled so it's actually very very bumpy when you're riding on some rough road but the good thing about this is because it's all rubber, so you will not get a puncture, and it will last for a very long time. And um, I'm not just I'm not going to fold the bike for you. So, um, but the bike is actually quite why uh, you know the scooter is actually quite well designed. Um, except for one thing is the weight that the scooter, you know, weight it weighed seventeen kilograms. So it's actually quite heavy when you you know taking out for um, transport or you know any purpose. So at the moment, I only take it to work. So you know, cause I um normally I just pick up this you know scooter to to my office, and um and also it's actually um made out of you know aluminium. So um and it's very heavy. So when you it's it's easily can you know hurt people because this is actually very hot metal and when you hit your leg for some reason and it hurts a lot and um the performance of it um so it has a 36 watt volt battery um with 10 amp and also um 250 watt uh, motor so um in my experience because the manufacturer actually claims that you can ride on this scooter for uh, I think about 20 miles um, you know if you ride it you know properly and in my experience I weighed 200 pounds and um, the maximum range I could get is probably um, about 10 miles maximum 10 miles if I ride properly and depends on my speed also and also if there's it's very windy then it's you know the range is gonna be less as well and one for very important you know thing that you you when you are going to buy it is that you have to make sure that you your low you know where you leave is not very cold because the battery inside is is using um lithium iron phosphate so the battery itself has a temperature effect on on the capacity so during the winter, I I will get less range from from the scooter. Um, let's say I think maybe eight to ten km, and in the summer I I can actually easily get um ten miles range from that. So if you are living in a very cold you know country or city, then you probably don't want to have this because you know the range is not going to be very practical for you. <coughs> and um overall you know the, the the scooter have you know done a very good job because um, it's actually very reliable i didn't have any you know mechanical or electronic problem with that so um i'm very happy with that so i hope you enjoy the review of it as well so bye